So we are now in the robot lab, which is part of the Department of AI at uh, Radboud University and part of the Donders Institute. <laughs> So here we do primarily two types of research. On the one hand, we are interested in how to control robots in a way that the human brain controls the human body. Uh, and on the other hand, we are interested in how to build robots uh, and program robots that are fun to interact with. So what should a robot uh, pay attention to when it talks to a human being and how should it respond appropriately? A robot lab, uh, we have several different types of robots. We have a number of social robots like uh, Nows, we have four or five Nows, we have a Papa robot, we have a Haru platform from Honda Research. Uh, we also have more industrial type robots like a robot arm, it's called a UR5. Uh, and we have uh, several Lego Mindstorms that students use to build uh, their own robots with. And the Now is a robot like you see here behind me. It's a small social robot that is fun. Uh, to interact with and it's used in a lot of research where children uh, interact with robots to play games or to learn something. So with all robots eventually you just uh, program them to um, do what you want them to do and the, uh, the problems that we tackle here are then primarily how to program robots uh, so that they can uh, do what we want them to do. So it's very much a programming uh, exercise where you develop in something called a robot operating system and you design and build programs that control uh, the robot uh, the way that you want it to be controlled. So uh, we have uh, recent results here. On the one hand, on controlling a robot in the way that the brain controls uh, the human body, where we try to mimic uh, basic control and we can show that the uh, robot adapts to changes in the environment in a way that you would expect a human to adapt uh, to these changes as well. Uh, and then we have recent results on what is it about uh, simple behaviors that a social robot might actually show that make this robot fun and engaging for humans to interact with. In society, uh, the number of robots that we interact with and other types of intelligent technology that we interact with is only increasing. So we have Alexa, Siri, uh, we have self-driving cars, and we'll have other types of robots that people will interact with uh, in their daily lives. And to achieve that, it's important to understand how these robots can function robustly in the real world and deal with all kinds of unknown situations and fulfill the expectations that humans might have on them. It is also important in the real world to build robots that function efficiently, that don't use too much power because they have to operate on limited energy resources. And to get this to function well, uh, it's uh, useful to look at how the human brain works uh, as an example of uh, intelligent behavior that is done in a very energy efficient manner.